And more breaking news. The westbound 105 freeway is still closed this morning after a horrific fiery crash. A tanker and an SUV were involved and both drivers were killed. We have live team coverage. CBS 2's Candace Crone and Jasmine Veal are both in Hawthorne with the latest and how it's affecting traffic. We begin with Candace. Well, Sharon, it could be several hours before the freeway is back open. Right now, crews have brought in an extra truck to remove gasoline from the tanker that flipped over. After that, Caltrans has to inspect the road and make any needed repairs. So it may or may not be open by the time of rush hour traffic. Flames shot up into the air after a tanker truck carrying gasoline crashed on the 105 West. I told and I waved to the everybody, just get away from this area. Witnesses say moments before the accident, they noticed an SUV driving erratically. It then crashed into the median. Hisaki Shimizu says the driver of the tanker truck tried to avoid it, but ended up slamming into the center divider. He tried to brake on it and started doing a scissor jack, lost the control. Because of the weight and everything, started breaking the part and lost the control and went to the center divider and lied on the, the, the Land Rover. The one fatality was from the SUV or the civilian vehicle. And again, we are not able to locate the driver of the, uh, of the tanker, but it appears that that person perished as well. The second tanker flipped on its side but did not explode. Both tankers were carrying 4,500 gallons of gas. Fire crews had no choice but to let it burn. The primary tank that was burning uh, people may ask, why did we not put that tank out? That would have created another issue with runoff going onto the freeway and more runoff going into the storm drain. The exact cause of the crash is under investigation. And the fire also knocked out some uh, metro power lines, so service on the green line in this area has been suspended at least until the rest of the day. Again, no clear time on when the west side of the 105 freeway will reopen. Jeff and Sharon. All right, uh, Candace, thank you. In the meantime, that traffic nightmare turned into a travel nightmare for a lot of people trying to get to work or catch flights out of LAX. CBS News' Jasmine Veal is live right above the 105 on the Vermont overpass. She continues our team coverage with that part of the story. Jasmine. Yeah, Jeff and Sharon, so the hundreds of people who ride the green line, as you can see, we just have another group coming on here, are having to board these shuttle buses because part of the westbound route between here and the Hawthorne Station is closed because of the fiery crash. The eastbound trains, though, to Redondo are still running, but take a look at the empty freeway that was once just clogged with cars. Cars remained at a standstill well into the morning on the westbound 105 freeway through Hawthorne after a tanker truck burst into flames from a violent crash. Firefighters spent hours trying to douse the flames. Take it to the, uh, the Metro's green line was also shut down as the fire moved onto the tracks. Today has been rough. <laughs> If it ain't one thing, it's another thing. Downstairs to the Norwalk station. Confused Metro riders were herded onto shuttle buses. I'm on bus, bus, bus. <laughs> I've been on four buses because I didn't know what was going on. Down below, stranded drivers and passengers stuck on the freeway improvised. Some people trying to make it to LAX walked along the side with their luggage, hoping to catch another ride. Others decided to wait it out on their tailgates. And look at this taco truck that decided to open up for business in the traffic jam. Finally, drivers were turned around and escorted off the closed freeway where two people were killed in that crash. My heart goes out to their family, you know? And it's crazy. I mean, people got to stop. Got to stop, slow down. And commuters can use the Imperial Highway or the 91 Freeway as detours as for the Metro, and that will be back up and running. Well, as Ken has mentioned, they still have to go and assess the damage, so it could be several more hours. Send back to you. Wow. All right. What a morning it's been, right?